Good evening to you, Angelique. This therapist used to work here at Banner. She quit her job here to go to New York City to fight COVID-19 on the ground in the city that was once the epicenter of the virus. She's still fighting every day, only now her fight has moved her home. We first profiled Amy Burke back in April when the respiratory therapist volunteered to spend most of her spring providing critical help to patients and colleagues in a New York hospital ICU. Amy is now back in Arizona in an all too familiar setting. This weekend was my, the first time that a feeling of, oh, we're, we're doing this again, kind of struck me. Amy says the big difference here at home, some of those who were very sick are much younger. Under 40, I have lots of patients in their 30s. It's scary, I'm in my 30s. We don't have the mass amount of numbers that New York had, um, but our hospitals are still only equipped for the population of Arizona. They're not equipped for a city with 8 million people. In New York, she had a daily mantra. It was get to the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and, and that light was coming home. You know, I came back to the light at the end of the tunnel and it just was the beginning of the tunnel again. So I used to see an end in sight and now I'm not really sure where that end is. This weekend, Amy and her colleagues held the hands of a man as he died, taking his last breaths, surrounded by the people who did all they could for a different outcome. I was at the top of the bed where the airway was and, and we, we got real close to him so he could hear us. The experience of watching these healthcare workers be such wonderful, compassionate people is really beautiful. And that person passed away with five healthcare workers telling him that he was loved and that he did a great job fighting and that it was okay to go now. We've got you covered. I'm Eric Fink.